Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to this week's Frequency Intel. I am going to be talking about the inner critic today. So we're gonna be working with the inner critic and we are going to actually update the inner critic. And I'm super excited to share this practice with you because when I tapped into the frequencies and felt into what we're working with this week, um, I felt the energy of leucosis in alchemy. This is the energy of lightning. And this energy that we're working with is about perfectionism. It's also about facades and hesitation. And this is very much a part of the ego structure or the personality structure rather than the spirit. And we don't want to vilify the ego. We don't want to, we don't want to make it wrong or bad. We want to actually befriend the ego. We want to partner with the ego and to recognize that it is part of this beautiful container, our human energy vehicle that carries our spirit in this life. And when we can when we can come together as one and work in harmony and unison as matter and spirit together, our human energy vehicle, our, our precious body and the mind that, that is part of our body, along with our soul, with our spirit, we really become unstoppable. We become a powerhouse. And the energy of leucosis in the alchemist laboratory is the energy of thinking that you're already done. It's, it can also be the energy of the know-it-all. I've already done that. I've already learned that. I've already tried that. I've already healed that. And that is the energy of hubris. And it, it excludes any new possibilities or any expansion of what is possible. And we are in an expansion right now and being open to new possibilities that have never even dawned on us before is, is the beauty and magic of where we are right now. And so what I want to share with you is a practice of upgrading and working with the beautiful critic, our inner critic or our critical parent, this, this aspect of ourselves is a, a worthwhile, beautiful and beneficial part of us that we created that's maybe run amok and is really harsh and demanding and cruel. In many ways, the inner critic can be wildly cruel to us. But here's why. So when we are small and we are trying to learn how to fit into the tribe that we drop into, our core family, whomever that is, um, we are being programmed to know how to be who we need to be in order to fit in and to survive. It's a survival tactic. So we develop this beautiful inner critic that pays attention to what other people are saying to us and about us and records that information and, and remembers it and when we start to do something or say something or behave in a certain way that is just natural to us, that is not accepted by the people around us who are taking care of us and responsible for our survival, we develop an inner critic that starts telling us, don't do that. They don't like it when you do that. And this critic gets a little foothold in our psyche, in our mind, and starts to dictate whether or not we have the safety and permission to do the things that we naturally do, to be the way we naturally are, to behave the way that we naturally behave. So this part of us, this inner critic, 
at that time when we are growing and developing and when we cannot take care of ourselves is highly beneficial to us. It helps us navigate the reality that we dropped ourselves into, that we dropped our soul into on this crazy place called Earth. And that critic gets stronger and, and can become kind of vicious to us. And all of us have had the experience where we've heard our inner critic saying things to us that we would never even dream of saying to another human being. So the critic gets out of control. As we grow up, the critic doesn't realize that we are grown, that we have a job, that we have money in the bank, even if it's a dollar, if we have keys to a car, if we have a place to live, even if it's living in our car, we are safe. And the critic doesn't know this. It still thinks that you're living with the people that it's trying to protect you from being hurt by. Your, your fundamental core essence of you is what the critic is developed to protect. And so I want to take you through this process of working with the inner critic to update the critic's reality. And so it's a very simple practice. What I want you to do, if you're in the space to be able to participate, beautiful. If you're not, pause this, save this, um, pin it, and um, come back to it when you have the time and space to really work with your inner critic and update your critic because we're gonna transform the critic. So in order to begin, I want to invite you to just notice wherever you are in this now moment and notice the space around you. And if you have the availability to close or lower your eyes, to bring yourself into your internal world, that is ideal. And so just beginning there beginning by lowering or closing your eyes and beginning to take your awareness into your internal world and away from the external world. And as you do this, bring your awareness inside of your body and notice where your awareness lands inside your body. Just noticing where your awareness lands inside your body begins to quiet your mind. And allow your mind to become quiet and noticing any thoughts that arise and letting them pass by without paying any attention to them. And beginning to bring your awareness to the base of your spine, to your root chakra, for those of you who are familiar with the chakras, and forming your awareness in the area of your hips. bringing your attention to your own energy, no one else's energy, just your energy. Noticing that the mind is becoming quieter as you focus your awareness and attention in the base of your spine. Notice your breathing is slowing and becoming more rhythmic all on its own without you needing to shape your breath or pay any attention to it. It's happening for you. And bringing your awareness into your energy and sending your energy down into the earth. And beginning to give your attention to grounding your energy into the magnetic core of the earth. And that may look like you sending a 
column of energy down into the middle of the earth or tree roots or flowing water. Whatever that is for you is perfect. And inviting you, all the aspects of you, into this present moment. Anywhere that you've scattered your attention, parts of you scattered to the multiverse, call them back and bring them back into this now moment. And turn on your imagination and give yourself permission to play, to connect with your transpersonal senses, your ability to see, to hear, to feel, and to know. However your intuition shows up for you is perfect. There's no right or wrong, and any answers that you get, the first answer is always the most accurate answer. So giving yourself permission to activate your intuition and call to mind your internal critic. Asking your critic to join you and noticing how your critic shows up. How do they appear to you? Do you see them? Do you just know they're there? Do you feel them? Do you hear them? And connecting with your critic, noticing how old they are, what they're wearing, where they are. And opening your heart and creating a safe space for your critic. may be something unusual for your critic to feel safe. Welcoming your critic. Thank you so much for coming. I'm so grateful you're willing to meet with me. And letting your critic know how grateful you are that they've helped you survive all these years. And what a magnificent job that they've done up until this point. Your critic may be a little bit taken aback or surprised because often we've also been unkind or rejecting or trying to suppress or separate ourselves from our beautiful critic, not knowing that they were just trying to do their job. And so thank you, critic. I'm so grateful. I've just learned that you've been trying to protect me and take care of me. And I'm so grateful for everything you've done for me in my life to keep me safe. And just allowing the critic to respond to you in whatever way your critic responds to this new information that they're receiving this praise, this thanks. And as your critic becomes familiar with your beautiful expanded heart and your love for them and your, your gratitude and thanks for them, let them know that their job is done that their job is no longer required because you no longer need to be protected from anyone. And that you know now that it's safe to be who you are in your true nature, how you fundamentally think, feel, 
behave. That you are safe to be your authentic self, your wacky, quirky, unusual, individualistic, brilliant, illuminated self. And let your critic know, I'm so grateful for all of the work you've done. And now when you criticize me, it's no longer beneficial. It's actually causing me harm and keeping me from living my most fulfilled, joyful, abundant, radiant life and contributing my magic to the world. And as your critic takes in this information, let your critic know that you have a new job, that it is vital and important, that you believe in this part of you and that you want this part of you to continue to support you, but in a new way. Remembering that this is a part of you that you created, that your innocent child self, your magical beloved child self created. And so invite this part of you to transition into a new role in your life. And that new role is being your biggest fan, being your most ardent supporter, your number one cheerleader. And every time you do something that brings joy, happiness, fulfillment, pleasure, Invite this part of you to celebrate this with you, to cheer you on, to encourage you to keep going. Transitioning from being the critic to the fan, to the loving, compassionate, kind, generous supporter, your philanthropist of love. And welcome this part of you into their new role by opening the beautiful, sacred sanctuary inside your heart. making space for your ardent supporter, your magical love philanthropist, to have a new place to interact with you from, to support you from, to whisper sweet encouragements into your ear when you don't know what the next step is. Keep going. You're on the right path. I love you. Thank your love philanthropist for being willing to transition into this new role. and becoming your biggest supporter. And feel the lightness, the lightning 
This is the other aspect of the leukosis energy and alchemy is lightening, becoming lighter and more curious, more expansive, more willing to try new things and fail, to experiment and learn from your failures, to learn from the, the things that don't turn out so that you can, you can navigate your course with ease, with your intuition guiding you. This is part of your intuition. This is part of your egoic self. And you have just transitioned your critic into your greatest fan. You've just worked with the energy of leukosis that's here, supporting your beautiful creations because your magic, your medicine, your creative spirit, your output is needed. It's vital that you bring it here into physical awareness, into manifestation, into the third dimensional reality to support the creation of the new earth, to support our becoming homo luminous, our radiant selves. Literally, this is a part of you embodying your light body. This is what you've just done. I want you to become aware of the energy running from the center of your brain down to the tip of your tailbone and radiating out into every cell, every molecule, every atom, and every subatomic particle of your holographic field, of your body, your mind, your spirit. Thank you for going on this journey with me and coming back into awareness, coming back into the space of reverence for you, for you taking this time to transform your inner critic into your biggest fan. This is brilliant transformation work. You are brilliant. And coming back into this time space, opening your eyes, feeling the rapture inside your body that this creates. When we no longer have an internal critic, our body consciousness can begin to reorient itself back to your true nature, which is love. Back to your true nature, which is light. Photons activating as particles and waves coming into manifestation in the physical world. So thank you all for joining me for this Frequency Intel and for being a part of this beautiful community. I am so grateful for your participation, for your consciousness. I can feel the, the beauty of your energy radiating out into the field because when we do this work, we are literally transforming the consciousness of the collective. We are bowing out of the old agreements in, of the consciousness of the collective, and we are creating new agreements that, that literally are transmuted into the consciousness of all beings. 
So I invite you uh, to like this share to comment. It helps the algorithm to help more people to see this. I thank you so much for your support of this work and of the consciousness of the collective and your beautiful hearts. And I really look forward to seeing you next Sunday. Frequency Intel will be up on my YouTube channel if you want to binge watch and do this over and over again. Sometimes it may take a while for the critic to transform if the critic has been really strong and really identified with their role. Um, so we want to love the critic and to welcome them into this new role. And um, so thank you. I love you, and I look forward to seeing you next time on The Frequency Intel.